Hi, my name is Sandy Peng, and um, I'm the founding partner of Fission Capital. We're a Hong Kong and Beijing-based crypto fund. Um, we invest equity and tokens. I was surprised by the number of attendants. Everyone was incredibly enthusiastic and been asked a lot of interesting questions. So many, um, I think it was really interesting to gain a glimpse into the um, exchanges in India. Um, I didn't expect there were so many and so actively engaging in the community. And another thing that was really interesting for me is not the speakers per se, but the audience. The kind of questions that's been asked in every single workshop and every single panel um, shows the level of engagement and the kind of things people are thinking about is incredibly engaged. Um, well, it's always interesting to gain a different perspective and um, to, to work with some of the best minds in the industry and um, interact with them is always a pleasure. Conferences, um, especially large conferences in a, um, in a developing blockchain market, can be incredibly influential. Um, it's usually the first time that developers have engaged with the international blockchain community and um, met and discussed firsthand what the, um, what the ICO world is about. Um, and that's really exciting. Um, I think um, we've already seen a lot of public sector use case and public se sector and the private sector is um, financially motivated to innovate and stay with the most latest and current set of technology. So um, from both sides, um, I'm very positive um, and I'm seeing lots of really, really interesting applications and use cases in the public and private sector. I think consistency is really important for conferences in a certain area. So just consistently delivering the same format and the same standard of speakers will strengthen the community here. Um, I've seen lots of um, exciting developer teams and um, people, in, you know, people with big ideas and, um, and that's really, really refreshing. And we're also seeing lots of companies with existing resources and assets come into this space. Um, I, think the, I think everyone is concerned about government regulation. That's a topic that's come up repeatedly every day. Um, I think I kind of expected that coming into India. I think interacting with traditional institutions like the bank is really important for large amounts of capital and larger institutions to come in. But at the beginning, it's always grassroots and community-led. And um, with or without the bank's um, explicit consent, I can see this moving forward.